Hello guys, KP Shamino here and this time with a guide about the musky. So uh, some guys told me uh, when I was searching what the sweet spot is. I compared it with the spots that I already know. So first of all, I want to thank Stevie Dingus uh, for his information about that spot. So I'm going to show you guys where the spot is. So what did I do was like this. Uh, I went for the spot that those guys said to me and uh, I fished for one day in the, the whole day and I got the sweet hours. So the day after I fished in the sweet hours, then I went to the spot that I had and I'm co I compared uh, the fish that I got, the muskies, with the other spot. So why did I do that? Because one spot is like 70 meters far and the other spot is 30 meters far. That means that you can fish on the closest spot with bigger gear, heavier gear. So it goes a little bit faster to get the muskies in. But there is one problem with the 30 meter spot that is that there are uh, northern pikes too. So I wanted to see that you can overcome the northern pikes uh, with getting the fish quicker in. And my answer is no. That position is not good for musky because I got on the far uh, setup, I got two trophies and three normals on one day fishing. And on the close setup, I had only one trophy and one normal. So I, call, I con, cannot uh, make the difference good with casting closer and getting the fish faster in. Okay, I will show you guys. So today I fished uh, the 30 meter point and I will show you my net. So I got three muskies today and I think one trophy. But one of the muskies was on the, the far point. By accident I throw too far, so therefore I got him. As you guys can see, a muskie gives almost 400 to 1 experience for a normal one. And check out the, the trophy one. Almost 1550. It's unbelievable how much they give. That's without premium, of course. So if you got premium, you can get like 800 more. And then we are speaking about two and a half number almost. So that's a lot. As you guys can see too, it's a crankbait once again. I'm using the white and the blue because, because of the weight. So it doesn't matter what crankbait you use, but how higher the weight, how farther you can throw, of course. Okay, my setup is like this. So I'm using, I think, the Tora 290. I'm using my Fatboy Spin 5000. I'm using the Brett 0.18, but the 0.2 works too. It's uh, like 2-3 meters less that you can throw, but it works too. So if you want to get the fish a little bit faster in, uh, you can get a little bit higher, but the chance is a little bit lower because you need to cast close to lilies. And I think how farther you are away from the lilies, the chance goes a little bit down. What is normal because the muskie is sitting under it. Uh, okay, uh, that's I'm using the crankbait. I'm using the white and the blue at the moment. Uh, just because the weight is high. So here you can see the crankbaits. Here you see the difference. So this crankbait, the rainbow is 24 gram too. Then you got 18, 18, 18, 12. So yeah, that's normal mathematics. Uh, you can throw farther with the heavier uh, lure. Simple like that. So therefore I'm using this because there isn't a difference. So now I'm going to show you guys the two positions. So this was my uh, net for the close position. You see a lot of northern pike uh, in it. The far position, you don't have pike. It's only musky. Okay, so... I think the best way to get the muskie is the far cast. Simple like that. I, I, I will not bother with the 30 meters point because uh, the other gives just more muskies. Simple like that. So that's uh, the decision is made very quick then I think. Okay, what you need to do is let's go to the overall layout. So here you see the king of the green bay. I'm still in the king of the green bay. That's really funny. I'm testing so much at the moment. I didn't even go to the two other. I'd never been there. So I'm here now for three days or two days. 
just to get the testing done. And that's good. So because you need to search a lot, you got a lot of points that you can catch a certain fish. But then you got a combo of two fishes. So there is a lot of going on at the moment. So the point is, you come to the shore. And then you will see here at the corner. So it's like a triangle. Here you got a tree and here you got a tree. And it's like a triangle with the point is here. And you will see there are lilies and just behind it is a reed. Where you need to throw is here, a little bit to the left. I'm going to wait a little bit longer that you guys can, can check it out because it's hard to explain in the chat with words that it's over there. So, and you just need to throw. Yeah, it's a long time. I even could drink of my beer the meanwhile. So you see, I made 71 meters. And what you need to do now is you need to wait. So you wait like, let's say, five to six in-game minutes. If you don't get a catch, put your uh, drag speed, uh, your I mean your real speed on three. You just give a little bit action on it. It goes down and it goes back up. Why are fish biting on this lure? Do you see it moving? At some point it's going to stop, but it goes to start moving again. I think it's the flow of the water or the wind or something, because you see at the top there is always a little bit wind here. After some time it's going to uh, move again. And that's how you need to do it. Now I'm a little bit uh, out of the sweet time zone, so I'm not going to get a fish there because only muskie is there. There isn't a uh, northern pike over there. So you do it again like this. Now I got a snag point. What, what I can understand because fish like snag points. And now I need to get my uh, reel back out. I hope it works. Yeah, it works. And once you are like, let's say around 65, 64 meters, I got one on 55 meters but I got first bite at 65 meters you reel back in and you go again but most of the time every throw is almost every time a fish so you get the trophy uh, you got the normals but one to three even three trophies a day on five fish you're going to get if you fish of course in the sweet hours of course you can uh, get out of the hours the muskies too but it's such a rare fish i got one out of the hours but it was by accident it's purely accident okay that was spot number one and for me the best spot now i'm going to show you guys spot number two so you just cast to this tree and you throw and I got one uh, muskie over there too, but it was not so good than the spot a little bit to the left. So you don't need to throw over there that far in my opinion. So you got two snacks points uh, underway if you're reel in. That's at the 50 meter point, but I didn't got luck there. And at the 32 meter point. So what you can do is like this. I think the 32 meter point I'm going to use for my bobber uh, muskie spot. So what you do is like this, at 32 meters you stop and you, you just do just the same than on the, the far position and you need to wait. I got on this spot trophy muskies, normal muskies, I got them here too. But of course a lot of the northern pike too, because they bite the same. Therefore this spot is not ideal if you want to uh, get the muskies. I wanted to find a solution like one line that I can have the far spot and the close spot in one throw, but they don't bite uh, at the tree the same as at the same distance on the lilies a bit, little bit to the left. I tested it all so it doesn't work. So that's the 32 spot. Okay guys, uh, only one thing I need to say. Uh, the time that you can catch him. That's very important because uh, it's only on sunny days a time frame of two hours and it's possible on cloudy days three hours. With possible I mean I got after the sweet hour two muskies too. I didn't get a trophy 
it can be luck, but I'm just going to give that time for you guys to. So it's possible. I'm not sure that's a sweet spot, but I'm just going to give it to. So sunny day is from 6 to 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, the evening on sunny days is between 7 and 8 p.m. So 6 to 7 a.m., 7 to 8 p.m. on sunny days. Okay, only a time frame of one minute. Uh, one minute, what I'm saying now, one hour. So, uh, yeah, a trophy muskie can take up to 30, minute, uh, 30 minutes in game. So, you need to be a little bit lucky with the AE to get a lot of them. For a cloudy day, uh, it's from 8 to 9 in the morning. So, AM. And from 5 to 7 in the evening. From 5 to 6, I'm sure it's a sweet time. And I got from 6 to 7 in the evening two muskies too. So that's optional. So you guys can try it, but I think it was just luck and not sweet hour. Okay? Those time frames you need to use to get uh, the most chance on a trophy and on a norm normal muskie. Okay? I'm going to put the time frames under this video too, that you guys can check it out. And that's all what I can say about it. It gives a shitload of experience. It's a cool fish. Uh, some people said it was too random to catch, but it's not true. It's one position and you can get five to six easy two trophies in one day. So you even can farm it in my opinion. So. That was it for the movie guys, thanks for watching, see you later, have fun and good luck with the trophy musky, bye bye.